Tread Mentor Challenge of the Day number 173, and we'll be in B harmonic minor today, um, doing a lot of different kinds of scale runs, combining a few different sequences. But here's how it goes, and then we'll break it down. All right, so pretty straightforward scale runs at first, but we are kind of breaking things up and I'm ultimately trying to fill four measures of 4-4 four, four using bits and pieces of this scale. A whole bunch of groupings of four is really what it's all constructed from. So really, this was just a matter of counting it through until I had enough notes to fill all of my phrases, plus have that final note on the last beat. So let's break down what we're doing. I'm starting at the seventh position on the sixth string. So I'm using the B harmonic minor scale, three notes per string. Um, the very first thing I'm doing to fill basically three of those beats is just run across three, or sorry, four strings, three notes per string. So that's going to be 12 with three beats worth. One, two, three. And I kind of go back a string, and this is how I get my fourth beat. One, E, and, uh, right there, that's that last beat, or four, E, and, uh. From there, I come back down to that note, and I ascend across the next four strings. One, E, and, uh, two, E, and, uh, three, E, and, uh, descend, four, E, and, uh. All right, so, so pretty straightforward so far. The next note I hit, I'm gonna sort of do this sort of thing. I'm gonna hit that next note that would have been in the descending order, but then I'm gonna come back and reuse the notes on that string. So that's actually four notes right there. That's one, E, and, uh, two, E, and, so now I'm trying to do kind of zigzags up and down. So I'm combining all these different sequences as I go. So that's two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Okay, so two strings of zigzags. Now I'm gonna slide up one position in the scale. This is my third, I was just on my second. My third, I'm basically gonna start doing four sets of sequence of four. One E and slide, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, come back up to the fifth, finish right there. All right, so it's a lot of stuff, but some straight scale runs. This is really meant to be an example of how you can combine a whole bunch of different sequences rather than overuse one. You should really never use one sequence. Honestly, I'm already pushing it a little bit by using it four times at the very end. The kind of spoken and sometimes written rule is really to only use the sequence three times and I am sort of going over it at the very end because um, I, th I still think it sounds good but you can start to really hear the pattern being used and you kind of want to avoid that and four is already starting to you know you can start to hear it being used if you're just kind of showing that you've got the speed go for it fine but just as a composer tip from one composer to the next try to keep it to three and do something else after that to kind of wrap things up and take the idea somewhere else. But anyway, here's the whole thing all the way through, just a little slower than the first time. All right, you give it a try and I'll see you again tomorrow.